हेलो फ्रेंड सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एक्चुअली एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फायरवॉल दैट इज पालो आल्टो फायरवॉल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सेट अप दैट पालो आल्टो फायरवॉल इनसाइड योर वर्चुअल मशीन सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी ए वर्चुअल बॉक्स इंस्टॉल्ड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज माई वर्चुअल बॉक्स नाउ इन साइड दिस वर्चुअल बॉक्स आई वॉन्ट टू रन पालो आल्टो हाउ आई कैन डू दिस It's very very easy. Okay, just follow my steps. If you follow my steps, you will be able to easily understand how it's easy to set up Palo Alto firewall inside your virtual machine. What you need? You need a virtual box installed, any version, and you need this image. You can see this image. This is Palo Alto image. Okay, image file you need. That is a OBA file. Okay. Now you just need to double click on this OBA file. Once you double click. it will you can see this pop up window okay so this pop up window will appear you just have to click on finish once you click on finish you don't you just have to wait you can see import importing appliances okay so you have to wait uh, and once it has been imported what you need to do you need to start this so i'm going to start this while it's starting at the same time you need to check your windows main windows ip address okay main machine ip address which you got from your windows or your wifi ip address okay so not typing here so i am going to open my windows command prompt and in this windows i am going to check my ip address so you can check this is your ip address 192.168.29.227 okay so whatever your ip address is you have to give the ip address of same network okay same range okay same subnet mask and same network ip address to your palo alto firewall so this ip address is 227 so what i am going to think is i am going to assign 228 ip address to the palo alto machine so just wait for this palo alto machine so i'm just waiting for my palo alto machine to boot once it will boot what i will do i will log in to this palo alto firewall so you can see it's asking for login so the login default login name and password remember default login name and password is admin and the password is also admin okay so it will not take but sometimes it will not take but this is the password okay you can keep it trying it might disable us for 5 minute like because i am typing it little fast but this is the password okay remember admin admin is the username and password you just have to wait and keep trying okay and see it's work okay so because so you have to type it two to three times okay so you don't have to worry about that it's happened here because some delay you know in the network setup and in the sync so you have to wait here and admin admin is the password you have to remember admin is the username and admin is also is the password you don't have to worry about that now what after this after this you have to go to the configuration mode and how to go to the configuration mode you have to run here configure once you type configure it will take you to the configuration mode now in the configuration mode what you can do you can check or you can assign the ip address okay you can actually assign the ip address of your machine inside this so let's do the ip assignment and for this ip assignment what we are going to do we are going to run the command and follow the command that is set and then type device config you have to make a spelling uh, no a spelling mistake here okay so set device d e v i c e c o n f i g device config and then you have to type system and then you have to type ip address and after this ip address you have to type the ip address for this machine 
so you know my windows ip was 192.168.29.227 so 228 will I, uh, that ip address i will going to assign this machine so 227 windows ip 228 my palo alto firewall okay so 192.168.29.228 because 227 is my windows ip and 228 is my palo alto firewall ip now now a space and then you have to set up the net mask net mask must be the same your network 255 255 255.0 in my case okay and press enter after that you have to apply all this and for this you have to type commit once you type commit that will be applied so you have to wait okay you can see configuration committed successfully it means the all the configuration has been uh, applied successfully now you can log in to the your palo alto firewall with the help of your browser you can open any of your browser and you can type the ip address 192.168.29.228 but you have to follow https colon slash slash and then ip address of your palo alto firewall So here you have to type the IP address of your Palo Alto firewall and just wait. So I just type the IP address and now you can see your connection is not private. So you will see something like this. So you have to click on Advanced and then below you can see here Continue to one ninety two one sixty eight twenty nine twenty nine point two twenty eight Unsafe. Okay, just click here. Okay, on this. and now it will ask you the username and password you know the username and password is admin and admin so same you have to type here a d m i n admin a d m i n admin and press enter and this will take you to the palo alto firewall inside the palo alto firewall okay so what you can see this is your palo alto firewall so you can see all the options here monitor options here like traffic threat url filtering will fire submission data filtering everything you can see here okay threat map you can see here now you can also see the change monitor summary okay everything traffic map all these things you will be able to see here okay now anyone who is interested in palo alto firewall they can contact me you can learn the complete palo alto firewall i will not say the complete okay like but you will uh, understand up to the admin level like you will be able easily able to handle palo alto firewall uh within 25 days okay so that will be a 25 days training module on palo alto firewall the registration is going on if you guys are interested you can ping me through my whatsapp number or you can uh, ask in the comment section if you have any doubts okay So thank you thank you for watching